What's new? We are uh, finally getting somewhere. So, got the other hoist installed. I got a couple little things to wrap up on it. Um, but that's pretty nice. Finally got the air system all plumbed in. We haven't had air this whole time. <clears throat> so that was uh, a really cool feature we got. That actually took way longer than I thought. We got this really cool aluminum cord PEX hose. I can't remember the company. Uh, but anyways, it's like three quarter inch hose. It's actually really nice. Came with a bunch of fittings and stuff. Um, but it took me way longer than I thought I was gonna take to uh, get it working. That was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but we got our old air compressor hooked up and working. It's back there in the corner. It's actually not as loud over here for some reason, maybe because we have more power available. Uh, but I bought this 120 gallon polar air um, cause it's got the silent air feature and stuff on it. So I'm excited to hook that up and use that here pretty soon. I just want to make sure everything else worked first. Probably sell our old one to somebody just so they got something and, uh, yeah, move on from there. But anyways, otherwise we're chugging along. Andrew's done a couple six gens already. Um, we got the gray one. The electrical inspector came today. He's going to figure out exactly what the, uh, occupancy department wants and then get that wrapped up. Uh, it took a few weeks to get him over here, so that was part of the last, most recent delay. Um, but anyways, he came by and was like, wow, you guys did a really nice job, actually. Even the wiring looks really good. He's like, you done electrical before? I'm like, no, I'm just kind of OCD. So he's like, man, everything looks really good, even the wall fans. I don't know if you guys seen those. If I, whatever. Those, uh, those work really well. Alex came by and put those in last week. I can't remember if I brought it up or not, but... Uh, these these work really awesome. And I can actually I can actually breathe in here, so it's pretty cool. Um trying to think. Got the tire machine and balancer set up. That stuff finally all works, so that's cool. Well, I still don't use it, but it's cool. Um I bought one of our old friend Sean's Camaro. I guess that's a new thing to talk about. That's something that uh I was like, well, I'll make a video about that. So it's a 2018. Um, he went like 10-0 in the quarter with it with a, I don't know, he had strictly performance do some work too at one point. And they did a uh, supercharger cam, had the heads ported and CNC'd, so it actually was less than stock compression. Um, but anyways, Sean kept it on motor all this time. Did like coilovers, aerospace brakes, carbon fenders, carbon doors, carbon hood carbon trunk lid completely gutted it uh, and then we uh we finished it off for him a couple years last year he actually ripped the eight speed out of it after racing it for like four or five years and um we ended up putting a turbo 400 in it for him um but anyways he was just kind of bored with it so i bought it from him he gave me a really good deal on it so we already pulled the motor out of it uh, i had my friend devin tayo deck the heads we took like 35 off the head so it should make it a little over 13 to 1 um and then i bought a btr 230 cam um i still haven't used one because nobody wants to fly cut pistons and get that radical so we did uh yeah the heads are cut right down so they're cnc ported strictly had them done i believe it was k-tech that did the porting so we're gonna Clean them up a little more. I'll probably blow them out a little bit just because uh, add a bunch of compression to it. And then just take it out and beat the crap out of them. I'm actually going to get it set up this coming week for the Boeing Airport race because that's one of the most well, local, cool, fun events around here. Um, so we just pulled the engine, pulled the heads, had Devin deck them, cleaned them up really good, bought the cam, and I was like, well, while we got it, we'll tear it all the way down. I had a couple oil leaks not bad so andrew pulled it out the other day while i was busy and uh tore it the rest of the way down today so that way we can uh we'll just clean everything up reseal it i got a set of johnson lifters for it um so we'll put some johnson's in it bigger cam bought head studs should be pretty awesome i would assume i'd probably pick up 75 wheel with the bigger cam and two more points of compression so I'm actually pretty excited to see how it runs then because it's super, super snappy. I mean, it wasn't as fast as a lot of these out here, but it should be closer. But um, yeah, I was kind of excited about that. I like stuff like that. It's fun, especially he gave us a good deal on the car. 
Um, so it's not something that's going to break the bank to have fun with. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works good on the airport. It doesn't have a lot of rear suspension movement. Uh, the independent rear is kind of tough, but we'll put a slick on it. it. has a ton of front travel, so should be able to make it get down pretty good with that. But yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a pretty fun project. I said, not like it's cheap, but cheaper than the red Corvette I barely drive. And I definitely will have some fun with it. So anyways, that'll be cool. Um, yeah, just plugging along, dyno on the sixth gen. So this one got a BTR 220 cam, uh, just a driver. A couple from Wisconsin brought it over. I welded in a set of Cook's Cats because they had a set of Cook's headers. Um, Andrew did the cam. And then uh, Atomic MSD intake, 102 Nick Williams, and the uh, Rotofab. They already had the Rotofab on there. Uh, but anyways, first pull was 503 on 90 octane. They have rec fuel in it. So we put a flex fuel sensor on it. I just got back from the store, went and grabbed 10 gallons of E. So I'll shove that in there and see if we can make like 540. And that's stock compression, no ported heads. Really good bang for the buck and the things start, run, and drive amazing still. So very little effort. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'll uh, smack a couple dyno videos in here in a second. We've done a few other things since then. But yeah, just wanted to, I actually just really want to share the Camaro because I'm excited about it. Because A, I like Camaros. B, I like NA stuff. I think it's really cool and fun. And then, you know, like he posted it for sale. He called me and he asked if I wanted it. And I was like, or if I knew anyone wanted it. And I was like, eh, I don't know. So then when he posted, I was like, dude, had to go get it. I hate, I hate letting people's cars go. Like, not that I had a ton of work into it, but I've tuned it a couple times. And, you know, in between his mods lists and, you know, we did the trans last summer and stuff like that. So I just was like, feel a little bit attached to it for some reason I can't let it go uh, but yeah so we'll keep you guys updated on that as soon as we start putting that back together that'll be fun but I'm gonna go pour some ethanol in this car and we'll put some videos out All right, just wrapped up the SS. It was, it had like a half tank of fuel. So I only got like seven gallons of E in it. So it was like 47% ethanol, made 524.7, 480 torque. Look how linear that curve is. Like that manifold and that cam combo is so awesome in a street car. And then this car just looks good, so there's that. Yeah, Dick's gonna paint correction correct it next and ceramic it before they come back and get it but it is a really sharp color it's a really cool looking car looks just like the carbon fiber version except for not destroyed into a race car look at all that travel hopefully we can make this a good airport car in a week i got this here turbo 400 in it you know and that's what really wrecked it 
Uh -huh. Swap the slicks over. <laughs> 